to go to the moon and this decay and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Hi, I'm the Casual Spaceman and welcome to my channel once again. Well, today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, it's a bit of a debunk. It's a slightly blind debunk. I've seen this particular video. I've seen before. Um, well, I've seen some of it, um, but I haven't watched all of it. Um, and it's all about the space shuttle. It seems a bit strange. The space shuttle seems to be cropping up these quite a bit these last few days. Um, as most of you have seen from a previous video, um, a particular comedian um took a bit of a mockery of the challenger disaster but that's not until january the 28th uh columbia is not until anniversary of columbia is not until um february so i don't really know why it's appearing recently um also appeared in jose's channel recently also seen quite a few videos about the space shuttle good and bad but anyway today's from um is a video that uh thinks the space shuttle is a blimp an air balloon. So we're going to have a look at that and debunk it. So I hope you enjoy. Let's play. Okay, so this is the channel in question. Uh, D-I-T-R-H. I have no idea what it stands for and quite honestly don't care. And um, as you can see straight away, it's a flat earth channel. Where's the curvature? 120,000 feet. Now how do we know that? I'm actually just looking at it, it looks slightly curved. I don't know what you guys think, but anyway, that's by the by, doesn't really matter. Now, one thing I noticed straight away was that, oh look, <laughs> there's my favourite guy, not. Um, I've actually decided to call him Owen Scumgerman, because he's scum to me, as we all know. So that's what I'm calling him, I'm not going to call him by his proper title, um, Owen Scumgerman. Um, and they love him on this channel. You want to see how many videos they've got here. Look, there's one there, one there. Um, where else is there? There he is again there. Uh, where else must be here? Yeah, two more there. Two more there. Uh, where else is he? Oh, there he is again. Another one down there. Oh, two more down there. Two more there. Two more there. Oh, no, that's not one. <laughs> there, there, and there. Yeah, they love him. They love the Scungerman on this channel, don't they? They love him. Oh, and there's... Uh, I forget his name. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, clearly a Flat Earth channel. So anyway, we're not talking about the Scungerman. We're talking about this video here. Titled The Space Shuttle Blimp. Um, this actually appeared in my recommendations for some reason. Don't know why. Um, but as I was saying, it seems to be a lot of uh, things about the Space Shuttle at the moment appearing different places for me i think there's a name for that isn't there when th things appear that you th you know all the time that you think they're appearing so anyway i have watched a little bit of the video not all of it just a little bit um so most of it i'm going in blind um but i think i can debunk this pretty easily so let's have a look and title the video title coming up the beginning is the space shuttle bounce they want to talk about the bounce of the space shuttle. Yeah, you'll see in a minute what they mean. It reacts more like a rocket-assisted balloon. <laughs> Whatever that is. <laughs> let's watch and read time. Yes, let's. getting full screen. They seem very concerned about it being in edit for some reason, edits. I mean it's a video um, so I don't really know what they expect from a video. I mean there's lots of videos that have got edits in it so don't understand what the issue is with it with that but hey ho. Celebrating its 25th birthday by racking up science and supplies to the space station. 
Great shot. Nice night launch. Oh, there's the edit, edit six. Wow. They're really concerned about these edits, aren't they? These cuts, as they're actually called. <coughs> six edits in 37 seconds. Seems more like a movie. Uh, because it is. <laughs> it's a YouTube video. What do you expect to see in a YouTube video? <laughs> it seems that, that, you know, they want NASA to produce uh, one continuous stream of all their videos for some reason. They can't chop and change cameras at all for some bizarre reason. Don't really know why. But there they go, because they think that NASA and everybody else are there to prove, um, prove them wrong or to prove um, whatever they want them to prove. Let's take a closer look at what is happening. Oh yes, please. Let's let's do that. We are told that it weighs 4.5 million pounds at liftoff. Um, I'll take your word for that without actually looking. Um, might be wrong. I tell you what. Let's check that out. So, lift weight space shuttle off of shuttle it's going to give it it's going to be different each time but it's going to be roughly um because it's depending on the mission okay uh let's space transport system let's have a look space shuttle wikipedia uh thrust uh 1.1 million pounds of thrust lift off uh let's, let's have a look um Cool Cosmos. Let's have a look at Cool Cosmos and see what it's got to say about it. Okay. Uh, special weighed 165,000 pounds empty. Okay. Now um, that's his dry weight. The external tank weighed uh, the available amount of rocket booster weighed pounds empty each rocket booster to help fuel the external tank from this unit with oxygen pounds. If they're going to do block hydrogen, the fuel worm is 20 times more than the shuttle. I uh, launched the shuttle external rock side of rocket booster and all the fuel combined. A total weight of 4.4 million pounds. What did they say? Yeah, pretty accurate. Well done. Okay, they got something right. Yeah, pretty close. Okay, let's carry on. Oh, they slowed the video down. Oh. Some sparks ignited. Okay, so since when are sparks ignited? <laughs> you mean sparks are created? This is so that you can actually ignite the engines. A little fire. Uh, that's the exhaust from the engines? So, yeah. But it's not a little fire, it's quite a lot of freaking fire. <laughs> okay, um, it floats up. Okay, well, what's happening is when the space shuttle uh, launched, first of all, it's main engines. So you've got three uh, main engines igniting there. Um, they need to get up to full throttle. Um, and then, I'll tell you what, let's just play a little bit more of the video. Okay, so, the, they are, the space shuttle is clamped down right up until liftoff. Um, so the um, main engines need to get throttled up. Um, so yeah, there is a little bit of give on the clamps. So it will rise slightly. It's very little. Um, it's probably only just a, a few feet, if, he, if even that. Um, so yeah, it will it will rise up slightly. And back down. Well, it's just bouncing against the uh, give of the clamps. Okay, so oh, let's repeat repeat in real time. Okay, if you insist. One. 
four and a half million pounds of thrust. Um, when the main engines start, it's not four and a half million pounds of thrust. It's probably more like about 1.1, 1 1.2 uh, million pounds of thrust um, from the main engines. When you include the um, SRBs, the solid rocket booster rockets, uh, yes, it probably might well be four and a half million pounds of thrust. I'll have to check that out another time, but it doesn't really matter at this stage. Let's continue playing the video because they're, what they're concerned about is the bounce. This is what they're concerned about. Ignition and okay, <laughs> basically, so what happens when a, for a um, lift off of the launch uh, of the space shuttle, okay, is uh, the main engines will start up a couple of seconds um, until they get up to full throttle, it usually takes sort of somewhere around about two, two and a half seconds, um, and then what you'll see is the solid rocket boosters will then ignite, and the clamps are let go, and off it goes. So what you're actually seeing is the bounce, the clamps are holding the space shuttle down, but there is a bit of give in them. Um, you're talking 1.1 million pounds of thrust with the main, en main engines when they actually start up. So yeah, you're going to see a little bit of bounce. But how this could possibly be seen as a balloon or a blimp um, is beyond me. Um, notice how slow it moves. I mean, d what, what do they expect from a machine like this? Did they see, expect it to lift off at... Three th excuse me, 3,000 miles per hour straight away? Wise up. Come on. Lift off of Discovery, celebrating its 25th birthday by racking up science and supplies to the space station. In order for it to reach orbital speed, it needs to accelerate to about 200 miles per hour every five seconds before engines shut down. Um, okay, yeah, I'll take the word for it. I'm not going to go and check that out because it's pretty relevant, really, to uh, what they're actually saying. Booster ignition and liftoff of discovery. See, so notice they said booster ignition. Yeah, there it is. That's that. Once the booster uh, boosters ignite, that's it. They're away. They're gone. The clamps release, and away it goes. Celebrating its 25th birthday by racking up science and supplies to the space station. Discovery rolling onto the proper alignment. Discovery rolling onto the proper alignment. Discovery rolling onto the proper alignment. Oh, now they have a proper with the uh, problem with the roll program. Well, notice they actually said uh, rolling for the proper alignment. Okay. So on the launch pad, the tower and all the rest of it is set at a, 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 is a set position. Okay. So the space shuttle needs to go in a particular orbit. So what happens when the space shuttle rolls or any rocket rolls? What it's doing is, is um, orientating itself so that it can do the gravity turn just using the pitch axis up and down. So it's much easier to actually turn in that way so they can pitch and they can gravity, you know, do a gravity turn at the right orbital angle, if that makes any sense. That's the reason for prototyping. So they're actually saying the reason for the roll is because the fake shuttle part weighs more than the external balloon. Uh, okay, I don't understand why that should make any difference, even if it was a balloon. <laughs> Oh dear me. Where's this wobbling camera filming from? Uh, it's filming from the ground. I don't really understand why that's such an issue, um, and it's uh, having to follow the space shuttle, um, so it's not going to be perfect. So I don't really know what they expect from from this. I really don't. Let's look at a day launch. Let's look at day launch. Oh yes, please. Yes, look at a day launch. Let's do that. The balloon bounce. So they're going with the balloon bounce again, as I've already explained. 
is clamped. There's a bit of give when the main engines ignite. Takes uh, two and a half, maybe two, two two and a half seconds to actually get to full throttle before it's released when the uh, SRBs are ignited. But they want to show this. Okay, let's play this. Five and a million, five and four point five million pounds do not bounce. Why not when it's clamped down as a bit of give? And in fact, like I said before, when the main engines ignite, it's about 1.1, 1.2 million pounds of thrust for the main engines. Engines it only increases to that amount when the SRBs ignite. It's not bouncing in air. I can show you that much. What's it say? Zooming out to make it look like it's going farther. <laughs> what? Zooming out to make it look like it's going farther. So, right, okay, so show me a blimp that can travel that, f that fast. Show me a blimp that has fire coming out of it. Show me a blimp that has all that exhaust coming out of it, which is a mixture of uh, hydrogen and oxygen. Funny enough, water vapour. <coughs> it's not even cloud height. How can they tell? You just see that it's not even cloud height. How can they tell? So what's cloud height then? <laughs> do you think it's just one particular height? So what height is it? What height do you think it is? Oh dear. Okay, it's well over 20 miles away. How do we see and hear the separation at the same time? Well, that's a valid question. Um, there are such things as long distance directional microphones. I don't want to know what you can call them. Um, maybe somebody in the chat, if this is a premiere, or if somebody in um, the comments below can tell me what kind of microphones can pick that up. Um, you can quite easily see the uh, separation of the boosters. Um, they separate, I think, in and around about 40, 45 kilometers high, give or take. Um, so, yeah, there's cameras that can uh, zoom to that distance. Pretty sure of that. So, yeah, there's your answer to that. No, oh, they want to replay. Okay, let's. I don't mind. Beautiful. Not a second delay. But it's a video, why would there be? <laughs> what do you expect? <coughs> there should be over a 90 second delay in hearing the sound. It's a video. It's a video. It's being edited. It's not live on your screen. <laughs> Beautiful. This is nothing more than a Hollywood production. Well, I've just debunked it. Quite simple, really. Show me a single blimp, other than what you think is a space shuttle as a blimp, that can do any of this. And prove to me, show some evidence, other than what you think you're seeing, that it's a video production. And there she goes. And now the emotional mind control. Oh, well, oh, blimey, look out, everybody. Put your tin four hats on. You're about to, about to get some mind control waves beamed at you. Careful now. Are you ready? Right, I'll continue playing the video. You sure you're ready? Tin four hats on. Right, let's keep going. Right 
reaching for the stars. It's all lies. They have stolen our minds. Is your mind stolen? <laughs> Where's my mind? What have they done with it? Give me back my mind. <laughs> I think there's somebody stolen your minds, my friend, whoever made this video. <laughs> It's time to show your friends. Well, I've just shown you my friends, haven't I? There we go. I've done my bit. There you go. I've shown my friends. I hope you appreciate me. You're going to pay me. <laughs> show your family. Okay, I will. Show strangers. Okay, I will. Take back your mind. Take back your power. <laughs> you have to go and look for your minds, I'm afraid. And you're going you're gonna to have to take back your power. What's it? Power Rangers? I don't know what. It's time for the world to wake up. Wakey, wakey, everyone. Are you woke yet? <laughs> Well there, well, there it is. Oh, it's got the title at the end. Flat Earth, Sun, Moon and Zodiac Clock app. No, thank you. Uh, the solution to Google censorship. <laughs> I like this. The solution to Google censorship. But you can get it on Google Play. <laughs> well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that was quite easy, I think, was it not? Just had to check a couple of facts, but that was it, really. <laughs> it's a typical one. They think the space shuttle is a blimp. So there it is. That was pretty simple, really. It was just an impromptu debunk. Um, I saw it on my recommendations, and I just thought uh, I'll share it with you. So, only leaves me a few things to say. Um, if you haven't done so already, please see, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon, and then you'll be notified when I upload more videos. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up um, if you like the video, and don't forget to also comment below, which also helps. So, that only leaves me to say, I'm your host, The Casual Spaceman, signing out. We choose to go to the moon in this decay and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. It's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind.